My greatest reward is after the word is preached or prophesied, that the people respond by giving their lives to God. That's, that's, that should be the greatest reward of any minister. It's the altar call. It's to be able to lay hands on people and to see them one into the kingdom of God. After the shouting and the dancing and the preaching and the prophecy is over, if souls are not one into the kingdom, we've really not done our job. So that's, that's my greatest reward. When your children continue to nag you for an answer, and you've already told them once, come on, you get to the point where you say, I'm not telling you again. I've already told you. And God is saying, why do you want a new word when you haven't done anything with the word I already gave you? I've had a day where I wanted to throw in the towel. I wanted to go back to doing what was familiar before preaching, not sinful, but just going back to corporate America. And I had someone to say to me, you cannot quit. And that right there changed my perspective that this is a race to endure, not necessarily enjoy, but endure all things. You need to have something that's sanctified and that's the written word of God. Why don't you hold up your sword and 